Welcome to Oxygen Forensic Knowledge Nuggets. In this video, we're going to review artifacts from Google Chrome acquired by using the Oxygen Forensic Cloud Extractor. To find the Oxygen Forensic Cloud Extractor, look on your home screen under the Extract option. And to the right, on the top, you'll see the Cloud Extractor. To start an extraction, click New Extraction and fill in your account owner information. And then click Next. You can find Chrome in two locations. One in the center of your screen, you'll see this on the list of platforms that's available for extraction in the Cloud Extractor. And the next will be up at the top, you'll see these icons. So we're gonna click on the Google icon here. And when this opens up, you'll see all of the services that come with a Google extraction that are available to you. For this demonstration, we are only concerned with Google Chrome. So we'll choose Google Chrome and add those credentials, but keep in mind, one set of credentials might have all of these services and all will likely have some data in it because when you sign up for Google, all of these services come with that one set of credentials. Notice that there are two ways to authenticate this Google Chrome account. You can either use your username and password, or if you have a token, you can place the token in here. Now, where can you get a token? Have you done a cell phone extraction? Well, if you have, you might find a token to some of those applications. Go parse it with the detective and have a look. Also, if you've done an extraction or an acquisition of data using Keyscout, you may also locate a token for any of the Google services. So we're going to apply the username and password and then click Next and Validate. The first option that will pop up is the passphrase. If your user did, in fact, apply a passphrase to their Google account. What this does is encrypts the data in transit. If they didn't apply the Google passphrase, you can simply bypass this. Either way, if you don't know the password, you can just click cancel. And if they didn't go through the extra step to encrypt, you're going to get all of the data. So for this, I'm just gonna click cancel because my user did not have a Google passphrase. Then click Next. As you can see, on the right-hand side of your screen, under Categories, these are all of the items that we can extract from the Google Chrome account. Web history, saved passwords, bookmarks, autofill profiles, autofill data, credit card information, and any open tabs that they have going in across the board. If they have 10 computers open and they're signed into this account in all 10 computers, you'll be able to see all open tabs in every machine. Below that, you'll see your date range filter. If your scope only contains a certain data set, then you can apply that here. Once you've applied all of the categories in the date range filter that you're interested in, click Next. You will see the process begin and just how many artifacts are being pulled from the Google Chrome account. And we're finished, so we're gonna go down and click Next, and we can see what we have extracted from Google Chrome with the little numbers next to the categories. Now click Next, and you have the option to pull this into Oxygen Forensic Detective, which will parse the data for you. Once it's pulled over and parsed with Detective, you can then begin your investigation. For more information about Oxygen Forensics, please contact us. Mm -hmm.